Hello everyone, this is Comic, Sizzlin, and RJ here, back with another week of Halo Infinite News. Today we'll talk about the fleet com operation, game updates, and more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now, let's jump right into it. The Fleet Com operation is live for its third week. This operation contains a pass with 20 tiers of Spartan points and free items, like the Psytail chest piece and the Operator helmet. Buying either of the Premium Pass options will also grant players the CMA VK-78 Commando weapon model and the Crimson Snowfall weapon coating, as well as making it so that the pass never expires. Quality of life updates for both Multiplayer and Forge were also brought with this update, like the return of grenade jumping, Jeff Steitzer in Forge, and plenty of tuning for both weapons and vehicles. The Haunted Helmet from Halo Reach also returns with this operation, and can be acquired either within the shop or the exchange. It costs 75,000 Spartan points within the exchange, which will be quite the grind for many players, but it won't be so bad now since we can now earn Spartan points from every matchmaking match. This operation also brings with it the VIP game type from Halo 3 and the Headhunter game type from Halo Reach. Players can hop into the VIP playlist now and will eventually be able to hop into the Headhunter game type later in the operation. We'll hopefully have more news on both Headhunter and future operations soon. In the meantime, read the Operation Overview article linked in the description below, and stay tuned here for all the latest news on operations and updates dropping into Halo Infinite. On to this week's shop. We got even more returning bundles and items in the store this week, with some items also being on sale. HCS bundles are also still available, with Year 1 HCS bundles now including cross-core armor coatings. The first bundle in the shop is the Crime Crusher bundle, which contains the Military Police Helmet, the HYAS Helmet Attachment, the Prototype Factor 1 Shoulders, the Aloric Chest Piece, the SF Belt Utility Piece, the Prototype Factor 2 Wrist Attachment, and the Sketch Factor Armor Coating. The items in this bundle can also be bought separately in the shop this week. The second bundle in the shop is the Sicarius Bundle, which contains items such as the Sicarius Helmet, the Copper Slick Visor, and the Harvest Defense Armor Coating. The third bundle in the shop is the Ghost of Reach Bundle, which contains the Haunted Helmet, the Abyssal Messenger Helmet Attachment, the Faithful Find Shoulders, the Karen Terminal Chest Piece, the Entropic Display Utility Piece, the Graveside Marker Wrist Attachment, and the Rising Flame Armor Coating. The fourth bundle in the shop is the Pilot Bundle, which contains items like the Pilot Helmet, the sub and ease Dream Armor Coating, and the Orange Mist Visor. The last two items in the shop are the Perfect Circle Armor Effect, and the Atriox Grip Weapon Charm. Good variety of bundles and items in the shop this week. Players can now get the pilot armor on sale if they wish to pair it with their Haunted Helmet. As always, check out the Infinite News Twitter to catch all the daily and weekly items the minute they are released. Time for this week's Halo Infinite Promotions. A new vehicle coating can be earned by purchasing a recently released Mega Constructs set. By purchasing the new Mega Constructs UNSC Arctic Burn Wasp set, you can get yourself the Arctic Burn vehicle coating for Halo Infinite. After purchase, a code can be found within the box which can be entered on the Halo Waypoint website to receive the coating in the game. If you want to stylize your vehicle with this sleek exclusive coating, purchase this set and strike fear into the hearts of your enemies on the Big Team Battlefield. Promotions are still available via the Xbox Gear Shop. By purchasing specific Halo-themed apparel from the online store, you'll receive a code to unlock emblems for Halo Infinite. Players can unlock the Hannibal Heavies emblem, the Korolev Grizzlies emblem, the Lethbridge Gravitics emblem, the Mizraya Maulers emblem, or the Naftali Omnisports emblem by purchasing the corresponding hat or shirt. Be sure to check out these Xbox Gear Shop items if you wish to sport these great looks in-game and on the streets. For more information about the Mega Constructs promotion, the Gear Shop promotion, 
or any of the other ongoing Halo Infinite promotions, check out the Infinite News website. It's now time for this week's Community Highlights. 3D artist Jay Noxy created this render titled Daring. He shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see a Spartan in the middle of battle, while also being pursued by hostile Promethean forces. We really like the lighting and framing of this piece. This Spartan looks great with their silver set of Mark V armor, and we especially like how their armor shines from the light, being cast off to the side of the render. The background elements of this piece also tap the render nicely, and the action shown with the Prometheans in the background is truly both stunning and remarkable. Only a brave and skilled Spartan would ever dare to face menacing Promethean adversaries like the ones seen here. To see this piece, as well as more amazing works from Jay Noxy, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist Virgil Solitz created this render titled For the Banished and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see a horde of Spartans infected by the troublesome banished AI Erratus. We really like the style and effects of this piece. This shot looks thrilling with the group of banished Spartans reaching towards the render's viewer, and we especially like how we can see them stumbling frantically while trying to reach the foreground of the piece. The effects seen in this render are also incredible, and the glowing pieces of the Spartans against the dark environment are especially eye-catching. This piece perfectly shows why one should never mix Oni secrets with the diabolical plots of a banished AI. To see this piece, as well as more fantastic works from Virgil Salitz, follow the link to the Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist Goose created this render titled Blinded by Its Majesty and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see a Zeta Halo landscape populated with Forerunner architecture and beautiful natural wildlife. We really like the lighting and atmosphere of this piece. This render looks gorgeous with the rays of light shining down onto the plants and rocks, and we like how the various elements of the piece are highlighted with the light, like the group of sentinels seen patrolling in the background. The serene atmosphere of this piece is also absolutely extraordinary, and the way the pathway of trees opens up to a large open halo vista in the background is especially phenomenal. This render perfectly captures both the life and wonder of a Halo installation, which leaves us both paralyzed and dumbstruck. To see this piece, as well as more breathtaking works from Goose, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. It's now time for the Forge Map Spotlight. This week, we have two maps to showcase. The first map we're featuring today is great if you wish to break the silence of this empty grave. This is Apostle by Halo Infinite Forger Certified Champ. This map takes place within the Flood Infesta Halls of High Charity, and is great for 2v2 arena game modes. This map mixes both Covenant and Flood aesthetics amazingly well. We love the areas of the map that are untouched by the Flood infection, as well as the areas that have been completely taken over by the Dauntless Parasite. The lighting of this map is also magnificent, and we like how many areas give off a dim light to make the map feel much more ominous. There are many ways to move around the map, and players can even use a teleporter, found in the Covenant Corridor, that teleports them to a small high-up balcony, overlooking the center of the map. One aspect we also appreciate is how there are tiny gaps in some areas that allow players to get to jump on enemy Spartans within different parts of the map. Plenty of weapons and equipment can be found on this map, with the hottest items definitely being the Overshield pickup found within this Covenant Corridor intersection, and a Skewer pickup found just towards the back of the Flood Infested Overhang. The Covenant's once mighty capital ship may now serve as a hushed casket. However, its interiors, mixed with metal and biomass, now serve as the perfect arena for Spartans to see who can escape the clutches of the never-ceasing Gravemind. To prove that you're more than just flesh and metal on this map for yourself, bookmark Certified Champs Map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. The second map we're featuring today is great if you're a fan of Metroidvania-style campaigns. This is Last Survivor by Halo Infinite Forger Omni42. This map tasks players in seeking out the last survivor, while also fighting off ruthless enemies and solving various puzzles, 
and works fantastically as a solo campaign style map. The gameplay and atmosphere of this map are beyond breathtaking. We love the many areas of this level that look alien and mysterious, as well as the darker areas of the level that fill us with high levels of caution and dread. Players will find many puzzles while traversing the map, with some puzzles even unlocking power-ups for players. Our favorite puzzle has to be the one in the underground lab, where players have to hit buttons in a specific order in order to create a power-up for their weapon. Fret not when attempting these puzzles, however, as you can always restart the puzzle again if you happen to fail it. Besides puzzles, plenty of enemies can also be encountered on this map that will try to stop players in their tracks. Even more impressive is that some enemies are custom-made and will attack players with a variety of unique attacks. The best custom enemy of this level has to be the last boss, found at the very end. This boss will move around sporadically, and will even sometimes spawn in enemies during the fight, and even summon multiple attacks at once. This abandoned facility may hold great dangers and unsolved mysteries, but a perilous yet monumentous labyrinth like this one can easily be seen as a treasure trove to any space bounty hunter or adventurer that happens upon it. To follow this map's mysterious distress signal for yourself, bookmark Omni42's map and game type with the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. That is all the community highlights we have for you folks today. If you would like to see your art, maps, or Halo clips potentially featured here, be sure to join our Discord linked below, and feel free to say hi and share your creations from time to time. That is all the infinite news we have for you folks today. Play the Fleetcom operation now to unlock new rewards, play the VIP game mode, and to try all the recent changes brought to Halo Infinite's multiplayer and Forge modes. Remember to send feedback to 343 on all their social media pages, so they can better improve all aspects of Halo Infinite for the future. Also, check out the shop and review the promotions if you want to claim additional items for your Spartan. Follow the links in the description for more info on everything shown today, and check out Infinite News for more on what's new in Halo Infinite. The Fleetcom operation is here, bring with it many great updates and changes for Halo Infinite. Hop on now to try out everything this operation has to offer, and to play some VIP. Enjoy August, everyone! We will see you all in Infinite!